Hello learners of all ages, my name is Mr. Montgomery, I teach 4th and 5th grade math, and today we're going to be learning about factor pairs. Now, in our last lesson we learned about what factors are. It's the ways that we can use numbers to figure out what numbers can be regrouped or reorganized, and today we're going to be learning about factor pairs when we have two numbers that we can multiply together to get another number. For example, if I have the number 24, well, one of my factors that I have is 3, but what's its factor pair? Three times something is 24. I'm gonna give you a second to think about that. Yeah, it's three times eight. So three times eight is 24. So sometimes in your homework, they might ask you to complete the area model like we just did here. If you are up to date on your multiplication facts, this should be fairly easy. If you're still working on it, that's okay. Take time, count it out. But we're also gonna be figuring out the different factor pairs for 24. We know that one times anything is that number. So one and 24 is one factor pair. 24 is an even number. So two times 12. If I take 12 times two, I get 24. Three and eight, we already figured that out. Uh, four, well, let's count by fours. Four, eight, 12. Ooh, if I'm already at 12, and I know that 12 is one of the factors, so I can double that. So I have six. Four and six are a factor pair. It's not five. Why is it not five? Yeah, five can't be a factor because it doesn't end in five or zero. And I'm back to six. So just like listing out factors, once we get to a number that we've already used, we can stop with our factor pairs. So 24 has one, two, three, four sets of factor pairs. So just like factors, there are some numbers that have a lot of factor pairs, and there are some numbers that don't have a lot of factor pairs. Let's start with nine. We know that nine can be made up of one and nine. So one times nine is nine. But we also know that nine is divisible by three. It's not divisible by two, so I've automatically skipped two. So three and three. So we have one and nine, and three and three, so it has two sets of factor pairs. Now, since I've already ended at three, I know that I don't need to go to four, I don't need to go to five, I don't need to go to six, seven, or eight. Now with 60, it has a lot more factor pairs. We know that one times anything is itself. We know that 60 is also an even number, so I can have two, two times, well, what's half of 60? Splitting into two groups. It's 30, two times 30. All right, uh, three, well, if I split 60 into three groups, hmm, I have to use some long division on this one. 60 divided by three, three can go into six two times, and that would be six. I subtract to bring down my zero. How many times can three go into zero? Zero times, it's 20. All right, uh, four, well, that'd be four and 15 and five, and 12, because five times 12 is 60. Now, if you know your multiplication facts, this makes factoring and factor pairs so much more simple, but if you're still at the stage where you need to use long division to figure out, can it go into it? That is perfectly fine. And fourth grade friends, I made a mistake. I didn't double check to make sure that I was completely done with my factor pairs. I had one, two, three, four, five, I didn't check six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, or 12. I didn't check seven different numbers. And I missed one factor pair. I'm gonna try six. And you know where this is gonna be going. Six and 10. Now, I can double check. I'm double checking my sevens. No, it can't go into seven. Can't go into eight. Can't go into nine. But it can go into 10. So. The moral of the lesson that I just learned, and I want you to learn as well, is just double check your answers. Sometimes you might miss one factor pair because you're trying to rush to get done, but just make sure that you take your time. All right, my fourth grade friends, if we take a look at page 125 in our workbook, we will see that we're gonna be doing practice problems number three and seven. For number three, the directions say, find the factor pair represented by the area model. We have two times something is 22. We have to figure out what matches with two as the factor pair. And we take a look at number seven. The directions say find all the factor pairs for the given number. Our number is 36. I will let you know that it is more than one factor pair. If you have any questions on how to factor, 
or how factor pairs work. Make sure that you ask those questions when you come to math class tomorrow.